Hey guys, Drog Sherman here from DailyPhoneBuzz.com. Today's edition of Phone Rack, we're going to be talking about a whole lot about Motorola. Let's go ahead and get started. Thursday, Sprint and Motorola teamed up to have their own conference, and a lot of interesting announcements came out of it. One, the Motorola Triumph, which is going to be launching on Virgin Mobile, which is, of course, owned by Sprint. It's nowhere going to be, you know, the likes of dual-core processors that we see on the G2X, you know, the Galaxy S2. It's kind of like you saying that Robin can be Batman. Robin is really good. Robin, I, I mean, Robin looks like someone that he, he could beat someone up. But on the other side, Batman, he, he's just the big... He's a big dude, man. Now, it's the same exact thing here. The Triumph, it's nothing revolutionary, but it definitely is now Virgin Mobile's flagship device. Coming in with a 4.1 inch display, Android 2.2 Furio, a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, 5 megapixel camera with 720p HD video recording, and a VGA front facing camera. The Triumph definitely looks like a very stellar device on Virgin Mobile. But the announcement that squashed the Triumph out of the water was the Motorola Photon 4G. Now the Photon 4G, it's your, it, it's what you expect out of a standard high-end device. Dual core processor, Android 2.3 gingerbread, and a 4.3 inch QHD display. That's all what you expect from a casual high-end device. But something that popped to me initially is that this is the world's first 4G world phone. Now that of course means that this device will be available on CDMA, but it's open to GSM, so you can use it all around the world. And having GSM is not that big of a deal, but I like having the convenience. And personally, for a stellar device like the Photon 4G to be on Sprint and also be a world phone, well, I got to give Prada a Sprint here. Now something I also forgot to mention is that the Triumph does not have any modal blur whatsoever on it, and the Photon has a a slight modal blur skin on it. And the reason for this is that according to Motorola, well, modal blur is finally dead. Modal blur is dead. That, that, that's all I can say. It, it, it brings joy to my face. You, you can't see it right now, but it, it brings joy to my face. Modal blur, it's ugly, okay? Now, I know you're not supposed to judge, the, it, it's just ugly, all right? It, it's ugly. Alright, it's slow and it's ugly. Initially, Mono Blur as an actual whole is not actually did in itself, but a lot of the functionality and the things that slow down Moto Blur is done. So really the only thing that's left according to Motorola at least is their social functionality. Really the social connectivity it has doesn't really slow down or just ruin the feel of the device at all as the full Moto Blur skin actually does. Now that's all I have for today's edition of Phone Ride. We're going to have a new schedule starting up coming up this week. I, I, now I don't want to say what the schedule actually is because most likely if I do I'll probably not end up coming through and I'll look like a complete failure which my parents already think I am. But anyway if you enjoyed make sure you give this video a thumbs up down there below if you're a first time viewer and you enjoy our video go ahead and hit that subscribe button up there and you'll be notified whenever we post a new video also if you want some more exclusive content you can follow daily phone buzz on twitter and to keep up with on if people like me that's about follow me on twitter and until next time this has been drag sherma with daily phone buzz signing out